A Google event scheduled for next week screams Android all over it. The feature Nexus 7 seems to be more expensive than expected, and if you were looking for a red Nokia Lumia 1020, you might be in luck. I'm Jaime Rivera, and I'm sure that red phones will one day grow into my midlife crisis. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some interesting leaks as I know some of you were kind of worried because there was no Nokia Lumia 1020 in red being announced at the event. And so far that's been kind of a mystery, but we've got the first press renders leaked of the device, obviously being colored in that amazing red, and it does show that it's just a matter of time before this phone reaches the market. It does have an AT&T logo on it, so that's not necessarily a good thing, but stay tuned, we'll see how this goes eventually. And now for the not so cool news from Nokia. We know that the company was working on their own phablet, but the problem is that this doesn't seem to be a high-end phablet. We've got some leaked press renders of a Nokia Lumia 625, and it sports a 4.7 inch WVGA display, which is reminiscent of the HTC Titan from two years ago. So it's kind of hard to tell you right now that we are getting a good phablet from Nokia. Most probably this device will be for emerging markets. Uh, anyways. Now let's talk about the Nexus 7. We had some leaks in the past of a Snapdragon 600 processor, great specs, and a sub $200 price tag, but that's not necessarily accurate. We've got some retail leaks of this device being dubbed the Nexus 2 7 inch, which is most probably the feature Nexus 7 being the Nexus 7 number two. And well, the price tag does go above $200, which, uh, you know, I'm not gonna blame Google here. I mean, the price tag actually only grows between 20 to $40, depending on the variant that you're looking for. And considering the fact that this is the latest and greatest and only successful Android tablet out there, I think the price is kind of fair, so stay tuned and let's see how that plays out. Now let's move over to Verizon and the Motorola Droid Ultra. And I always get stuck with these names, but rumors had it that the company was going to announce these phones in August, and now it seems that the company intends to announce them on July 23rd. Um, I haven't really seen the press invites yet, so I'm really not sure if this is going to happen that way, but it seems so. And that's pretty much just a couple of days away. It's next Tuesday. We've seen some variants of this phone even being colored in red, aside from the typical black grayish color that you already know. So uh, let's see if this this really happens and let's see if these new phones are actually as good as we've been waiting for. And finally, for the hot news of the day, Google has just sent out press invitations for an event to happen next week on July 24th, and it screams Android all over it. It's going to be led by Sundar Pichai, and we are expecting either Android 4.3 or the Moto X or the future Nexus 7 or all three combined. We've been waiting for this for a long time already, and we're expecting a lot from this event so far, but it's really kind of hard to tell right now as leaks have been good when it comes to the Moto X, but nothing else, so that leads me to the question of of the day. What are your predictions for this event? Are you going to take your choices based upon leaks, which would mean just the Moto X and probably Android 4.3? Or do you believe that there is more behind the table that Google was smarter and keeping concealed? Leave us a comment down below. In my particular case, I do believe that we are getting at least Android 4.3, at least the Moto X. Uh, you know, it's a matter of time for the Nexus 7 to be out, but I don't think that we are getting any more Nexus products aside from that. So leave us a comment again. And of course, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.